So I'll wait Tay, we're back. Dido has given her address to Aeneas, and now Aeneas is going to reply. Dixerat il iovis monitis mota tenebat luminet omnixus curam subcorde premebat tandem pauca refert. We'll stop there. She had spoken. This is a pluperfect active indicative. Dido is the subject. She had spoken. Ile, he, now this is Aeneas, Tenebat was holding his lumina emota, his eyes, or literally lights, motionless, emota. Perfect passive participle. Well, I guess it could be an adjective also. His eyes motionless. And why was he doing this? Monitis yovis. Because of, this ablative, because of or on account of the warnings, yovis of Jupiter, genitive. So one more time. She had spoken. He was holding his lights or eyes motionless on account or because of the warnings of Jupiter. Maybe we could say this is an ablative of cause. You might want to check far. And obnixus, struggling. Now this modifies Aeneas or Ile. So those go together. Oh, that should be double underlined. Sorry. He was pressing his curam, his care, Sub corde, another ablative, sub corde, under his chest or under his heart. So we do see that Aeneas has affection for Dido because he's struggling to press his care, presumably for her, under his heart. But Virgil doesn't tell us all the details. He just gives us something to go on that Aeneas cares about her. Tandem pauca refert. Finally, he refert. He spoke or he speaks. He relates. He bears back. Pauca. Pauca werba. A few words. Werba is implied there. Again, tandem. It took him a while to make a reply to Dido. Ego te. Quae plurima fando innumerare vales, numquam regina negabo promeritam, nec me meminisse pigebat elisae, dum memor ipse mei, dum spiritus hos regit artus. This first part right here will take, I is the subject, ego, I will never, numquam, negabo is our main verb here. And I said will because negabo is future. Bo, bis, bit are our future endings for first and second conjugation. So, I will never deny te, you, it's accusative, regina, and that's vocative, O queen. I will never deny you, O Queen. And remember, Bo is the first person singular, future, active indicative, from nego negare. So we know ego is the subject with that. This, therefore, is vocative. Now we have this phrase here, quae plurima fando enumerare vales. It's a relative clause here. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, I will never deny that you, and you got to put in who here, who are wales, who are strong, but take it as poses, as you are able, or uh, potes. I will never deny that you, who are able, so that's the verb of this relative clause, you is the subject, 
who are able to enumerare, to list or enumerate, plurima, many things, and then ablative, fondo, by speaking. There's a couple more words here which we should also talk about before we put the whole thing together. We also have this quai, which goes with the plurima, what many things. They're both neuter plural. And then we have this promeritam, which is missing its essay, because it's an infinitive. It's a perfect, passive, infinitive, which is the perfect passive participle. In this case, it's feminine singular accusative, because it's modifying te, dido, and then it has essay with it. And the reason why we're using an infinitive here is because there's an indirect statement from this negabo. So let me try to put the whole thing together. I'll do it a couple ways. I will never deny that you, who are able to enumerate many things by speaking, have deserved, you have deserved these many things. Let's just do that one more time. I will never deny that you have deserved very many things which you are able to enumerate by speaking. So I did that a little bit differently there. You could do it a couple ways, put stuff in different order. I will never deny that you have deserved very many things which many things you are able to list or enumerate by speaking. What he's saying, in a paraphrase, is you listed a lot of things, and I don't deny any of them, but he is going to answer them, as we're going to see. Nec me meminise pigebit ilisai, nor will it pigebit, will it displease me, this is an impersonal verb, kind of like pluck it, or deck it, or lick it. It will displease me, nor will it displease me. It's a future, right? Bobis bit. To have remembered Elissa. And Meminise takes the genitive, so to have been mindful of Elissa. And Elissa is Dido, which is another name for her. Nor will it displease me, that's our accusative, to have remembered, or to remember, I should say to remember. This is another one of those defective verbs that has a perfect form, but it's active, I mean, sorry, it's present in its meaning. We had one earlier with odit, odi, odi, uh, odise. Perfect in form, but present in meaning. So this is another one of these. Nor will it displease me to remember or to be mindful of Alyssa, if you want to get that genitive sound in there, of Alyssa. Dum memor ipse mei, dum spiritus hos regit artus. So hopefully you heard the uh, anaphora in here. While I myself am mindful of myself. So the subject is ipse, ego ipse. Ego is our subject. And you got to put in the verb sum. It's missing. While I am maymore, mindful, mei, of myself. And maymore, just like meminise, takes a genitive. Same root word, meminise and maymore. And they both take the genitive. While I myself am mindful of myself while I remember myself, in other words, as long as I'm alive, dum spiritus hos regit artus, while breath, spiritus, regit, rules or controls hos artus, these limbs, another way of saying while I'm alive.